Governor Cuomo says the region has a problem, and Roe County Executive Adam Bello agrees. He and Dr. Michael Mendoza held a news briefing today to talk about COVID-19 in our area. Kayla Green was on that call and joins us live now with the details. Kayla. John, Adam Bello says again, 70% of the spread in our community is coming from household gatherings. He says we need to work together during these holiday weeks to come to stop spreading the virus. He says even if we were to go into a red zone and shut down more businesses, that won't really matter if people are still gathering in their living rooms. Bello says we are not in danger of reaching the 90% hospital capacity just yet, which would bring us into the red zone. Dr. Mendoza says he is in constant communication with the hospital systems about this to ensure we're able to manage the population safely. Dr. Mendoza also talked about the vaccine, saying he doesn't assume everybody who is offered the vaccine will get it. He says he won't consider tier one of vaccination complete until everybody in that group has accepted it, which means it could take some time. He says he anticipates tier two to begin by the end of January. He says it's early to say when the general public will be able to receive it, but he expects by April or May. Dr. Mendoza asks people to take precaution before the holidays now now, don't wait to see if there is a quote surge. Bello says he understands this is hard, but it needs to happen now. By this time next year, by this time, by, by next summer, um, uh, in, in just several months from now, we're going to be in a much different position than we are today. We just have to get to that date. We just have to get there. This could be the last series of holidays like this where we have to make these types of severe adjustments. Um, but we want to make sure that our family and our friends are still with us when we get to that point. Dr. Mendoza says he also encourages anyone with questions about the vaccine to reach out to his office and he will answer anything as best he can. He says we need to reach 75% to get to herd, to herd immunity in our community. Live in Rochester, Kayla Green, News 8.